Matthew chapter number 4, verse number 11. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. We can see, the scripture tells us plainly, resist the devil and he will flee from you. When Christ did not give in to the works of the wicked one, when Christ resisted him, when Christ fought him with the word of God, when Christ didn't give in, it says the devil left him. But after the devil left, it says, then the angels came and ministered to him. Now, we can read so many scriptures. What Jesus or Yeshua told Nathaniel when he first came to the Lord. He said, Believest thou me? Because I said I saw thee over when you sat up on the, underneath the tree. He said, you should see greater things than this. And hereafter, you should see angels ascending and descending to the Son of Man. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he prayed so earnestly, sweat came down like great drops of blood. And God sent angels to minister to him there as well. We can see angels ministering to Christ several times in the scriptures. And I believe that this is a pattern of how God sends his angels to interact with us and give us help and give us guidance. How we could be in a situation so bad that all of a sudden it could turn around for the good. Some people call it lucky. Some people say, I do not know what happened. Some people acknowledge when I prayed, it changed. Drastic changes like that signify to me an opportunity for an angel. God's helping hand reaching down via his messengers. Daniel prayed. And the angel was hindered for three weeks. But then Michael, the archangel, came and fought. And then the angel came and gave Daniel the answer. I mean, we can read scriptures over and over. Jacob, he slept and saw the angels ascending and descending. Then Jacob wrestled with the angels. Angels are constantly interacting with humans. Giving us the will and purpose of God. Can I say it like this? God interacts with us via his angels. Whereas we may interact with someone via a written word, via electronic word, email, via an image, via a photo. God interacts with us via his angels. They strengthen, they guide, they deliver a message. And we can see here, they were interacting with the son. Even the enemy told Jesus to cast yourself down because the angels will bear thee up. In other words, the scripture says how the angels are going to protect you. Once again, the angels is how God interact with his children. God, we bless you and we thank you. And we give you the glory and we give you the praise. Thank God.